here's a video on how to install it. The proper way to install it? Wow. Is it gonna work? Fuck uh, yeah. This one's a dead hummingbird. Is that a bad omen? Finally got my handlebars in. These are about 12 or 14 inch rabbit ears. Pretty aggressive angle on them. Uh, real old school look. Custom made by a guy out in uh, Maryland named Wannabe Fabrication. Makes some really good quality stuff. Unfortunately, it took a long time to get these, but it was worth the wait because they're pretty sweet. So they have these almost reverse chevrons right here to sort of match fender, the oil tank. Again, real aggressive angle. I got the throttle and stuff put on already, so that's just temporary. It's got his little badge on it right here. Solid mounted, no riser or anything. Uh, I got solid bushings in here, and I got some grade 8, was it half inch by 13 bolts up in here. But these are a little long. Um, this is actually the second pair of bars I've ordered from this guy, and both times they were a little long. I'm pretty sure he does it on purpose, so you can cut it to how long you want it. So I'm actually going to cut about 2.5 inches off the end of these. One of the main reasons is the clutch cable I have doesn't quite reach. And, I mean, I got just a lot of empty space right here. This thing is bottomed out, and there's nothing else going on here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut about two, two and a half inches off of these. I'll probably start at two, see how it looks, go from there, because you can always take off more, but you can't add two. I have a nice little hacksaw here, so I'm just going to mark two inches and just zip straight down. And then got my deburring tool, deburr it, and uh, put everything back on and see how it looks. I'm using purple Vans grips, pretty sweet. I'm going with the old purple theme again. cables I got came with a little baggie that has the little barrel that goes into the actual throttle and then a rubber boot to protect the um, adjustment nuts. I'm going to go ahead and get this shit thrown on. So everything up here is snugged up, it's got some good tension on it. I am going to need to adjust these a little bit more later once I get this thing running and I set the idle, but it shouldn't have to change too much. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really going to set these boots in place yet until I get everything fully adjusted. And then I'll actually set these in place and I'll zip time to keep any moisture out. I may even spray them with a little bit of WD-40 to keep any water out because I've had these things corrode really bad before on other bikes and it's a pain in the ass. This looks good like it so now i'm gonna get started on the clutch cable i think i found a way to get it to fit without cutting any more of the bars off so i'm gonna work on that real quick before i get started on this this is a pretty cool plain clutch lever no frills really but it does have a uh, light perch drilled into it so that's pretty cool so don't have to worry about buying a light for a uh, mirror perch it's kind of a tight fit not really sure why maybe it's just because the cables are new but it, it does eventually go in same old Harley plastic piece of crap. And 
again, I'll put all the parts for this specific video. So the TC Bros throttle assembly, the grips, the cables, the clutch lever. I will be putting all of that in the uh, video description down below, just so you have links to everything. Because if there's anything on here that you might want. There's a few ways to do this. One good way is uh, air compressor, put some air in the front of it, or even the back. Or you can use some penetrating oil, and it'll slide right on, and then the penetrating oil will kind of corrode the rubber a little bit, and it'll make it really sticky, and it won't go anywhere. So that's the route I'm gonna go. Just move it in there, and then it slides up like that. And then it'll set, it takes a little while, but it'll eventually set, and it'll, it won't go anywhere. There's the grips, clutch lever, throttle all put in. Looks pretty fucking sweet. Go ahead, this has the same boot, similar boot anyway, as you find on any stop cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and release some of the tension on this. The same thing, once I'm doing the final button up on everything, I'll put some zip ties on this boot. WD-40 down in there to keep any of this stuff from corroding. Before I finish this video, I want to say the audio up until this point has been dog shit. I know that. My battery died in my external mic. Didn't realize it until I'd already started installing this, so I just went ahead and filmed it. I tried to adjust the audio levels as much as I could. So if you can't understand anything or you need clarification, just hit me up. I'll clarify anything. I realized during editing how shit that audio was. So that is the installation of my custom rabbit ears. Again, made by a guy, Instagram name is Wannabe Fabrication. I'm sure I'll put it down here somewhere. Make some really high quality shit, all handmade. Got the mirror put on, just a nothing fancy, just a square mirror. Got the tank put on, it's not, it's not finished yet. Um, I still have a few little things to do, a few little things to button up on this before it's done. I'm still having some wiring issues, just some shit I can't really wrap my head around. Little nuances here and there that are just being a pain in the ass. Yeah, as far as the handlebars go, these were exactly what I wanted. They match the bike real well. They have that really, really aggressive chopper style look. And then of course, the headlight mount is on there now too. So the whole front end pretty much has the exact look I want. As far as grips go, I didn't even know Vans made purple. That was a nice surprise to me when I found them. Just browsing through, I think, Lowbrow's website. Um, I've had a couple different colors of Vans grips on my Dyna, between gum and black, pretty much. I really like Vans grips, not to be like a Dyna bro or anything, but I really like Vans grips. They last a long time, they're uh, really comfortable, and they're super easy to put on. So yeah, I'm just gonna end this video with a little bit of B-roll, looking over the handlebars and the headlight mount, pretty much the, the front profile of this bike, the final look of it really, because this is pretty much buttoned up at this point at the front end, other than, again, some wiring issues that I'm having. This is the look of the bike. This is the, gonna be the final look. Still have some issues back here. I have to re-weld the fender struts, my own dumbassery. I'll go into that later as well. So on these bars, like I said, this clutch, has a standalone mirror perch. I said light perch in the video, but it's a mirror perch. And that's when I went ahead and bought a universal right or left side mirror to put on here. Again, nothing special, just enough to see what's going on behind me. Uh, headlight mount, I saw in the last video. Uh, it's all bolted up, just need to run the wiring for it. I'm have, again, having some issues. But the headlight mount looks good. I got the toggle put on for the high beams. The guy that fabricated these bars, his little badge he put on there, which I actually really like. Gives a little bit of uh, something to catch your eye down there. And then the crossbars for this, again, I went with these chevrons because of the way the fender and the oil tank look and the helmet. They all have this sort of theme going on, so I wanted to keep that. And he did a really good job of spacing them out because honestly, I think if they were closer together, it almost looked like upside down E5 rank in the army, and I fucking didn't want that at all. These came out stellar. It's TC Bros throttle, super easy to install. If you've done any dual cable throttles, it's just like any of those, real easy, real straightforward. The clutch lever was kind of tricky. It came with a few different pegs to go into the actual clutch cable, and it took me a while, because I sort of just scattered everything, to find the right one. Uh, 
once I saw it, I knew it was the right one because it's the plastic dowel, pretty much. Yeah, this is gonna be the, the angle looking forward. Real, real aggressive stance with the tank, which I, again, I need to final fit that. Um, it's kind of wonky and crooked right now, but that'll get 